doing? How are you, my beautiful bugs? So I do have this like weird, see this? It's like weird shadow going on in this chart. I'm not sure what's going on, but <laughs> no matter what, we're gonna go through the morning meeting and then I will see you live at nine. There were so many of you on yesterday for story time who love it. And today we're gonna read about ants. So you definitely wanna be on at 11 o'clock. The ants go marching, so be ready my beautiful little bugs. So good morning, beautiful bugs. And that is what I think that you are. Actually, yesterday morning when I wrote to you, I wrote bouncing bugs. So we did a little bouncing because we did some ABC um, reenacting. We did an ABC acting song. So we will be doing that again. We also did the, do you know what sound it is? And you guys are really getting good at that. Mm, yeah. So we're going to do a little letter check in the middle today too, just to see how we're doing with our letters when they're not in order. We do great when we're singing the ABC song, but it, it's a little bit harder when they're out of order. So we'll do a little check on that as well. Today is Thursday. So we made it through Monday and we made it through Tuesday and we made it through Wednesday. And today is Thursday. Of course, tomorrow's fun Friday. So you definitely want to bring me something for tomorrow show and tell right because that'll be a fun show and tell but tomorrow is Friday but today um, we're gonna bring any butterfly that we finish so there were several of you that were working on those butterflies and I want you to bring that to morning meeting if you didn't get to show us before so Jatori showed us hers and Evelyn showed us hers and Jaylene showed us hers and Topanga showed us hers but if you are not one of those wonderful children, then you should bring yours to show everybody your, your beautiful butterfly. Okay. Rhyme time. So here is our rhyme goes with these beautiful ladybugs right here. And it goes like this. Five little ladybugs dancing on the shore. One danced away. And then there were four, four little ladybugs dipping in the sea. One chased a fish, and then there were three, three little ladybugs admiring the view. One skipped away, and then there were two, two little ladybugs bathing in the sun. One flew home, leaving only one, one little ladybug all alone. But she called her friends on the phone and they came back. One, two, three, four, five little ladybugs doing the jive. Hmm. Can you do the jive? I bet you can. I'm going to move this a little bit closer so that you can see the letters that we have here. Um, I'm going to point with my centipede because, I mean, because he's cute. And let's see, does anybody know what this letter is? This is an uppercase letter. This is lowercase, lowercase, uppercase, uppercase, lowercase. We're going to do these together when you come on, but we're going to do them right now. This is uppercase A. Sounds like A, apple, T, 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 top, Q. Q is a tricky one. It sounds like qu. It actually sounds like K and W put together, like quilt or queen. G. G is one of those copycats too, or, or it has two sounds. It sounds like g, goat sometimes. So that's its own sound, g, goat. Or sometimes it sounds like j, like J, like in giraffe. This is an uppercase K. Sounds like k, kite. And this is an M, mm, like for Micah and Micaiah, right? Or for monkeys, which we love. All right, so we are going to talk a little bit today about symmetry. I'm going to see if I can tilt this just a little bit. So we talked about this a little bit yesterday and a little bit the day before. Symmetry means that something is exactly the same on one side. It is mirrored. So that would mean especially for butterflies or when we made hearts for Valentine's Day, that one side 
would be exactly the same as the other. So you would actually mirror. So one way to get, a, or one fun way to get exactly the same print is to paint one side and then fold the butterfly together like this and then open it up. And the print should be the same on both sides, right? Because you, because of the way that you did it. Um, but we're gonna talk about how to create one. So this is our butterfly that is in our um, kit. You would put like an imaginary line right down the middle or you can fold it. This is just foam. It's just foam. So you can fold it and it will make a line for you. See that? So I'm gonna put it up with the line in the middle because what I want you to see is we are gonna create a symmetrical, a symmetrical butterfly using the shapes that were also, the shape stickers that were also in there. So for instance, in order to make it symmetrical, if I took this circle and I put this circle on one side, we would have to put it in the exact same place on the other side. And that's how you would know that it is symmetrical. Now we're not measuring them. Technically, if it wanted, we wanted it to be perfectly symmetrical, we would measure them. But we're not gonna measure them, we're just gonna guess. See how that would be? This is symmetrical because it is the same on this side as it is on this side. All right, let me try another one for you. So we would find, you have to find two of the same shapes. So on this one, we have two diamonds. So let's use the diamonds because those are the same. Now, this is not what I asked you to do. I told you you could decorate this any way you want. I'm showing you what symmetry means, okay? So I'm gonna put that right in the middle of the top part of the wing. And then I, in order for it to be symmetrical, I have to pick the same size diamond and do the same thing. Put it right in the middle of the top of the wing. Okay, that's what symmetrical, symmetry means. Symmetry means, see, you're learning all of these kindergarten words now. Symmetry means that things are mirrored and they're exactly the same on one side as it is on the other. All right, I will see you soon at nine o'clock. You do not have to bring anything with you today unless you want to bring your butterfly that you created. I will see you at 11 o'clock to read a really good ant story. Ants go march. We're also, you know, gonna play a little game with that. So show up for story time at 11 o'clock as well. All right, I'll see you at nine. I'll see you at 11. Mwah!